Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler, and today we are reviewing the Civivi Backlash. Now, you may ask, why the hell are you reviewing such an old knife? And I may tell you I can do what I want, because this is my channel. Then again, that probably won't give me many subscribers. So, the reality is what I'm going to tell you, I don't know if that made sense, but you guys know me. I'm one taking it, we're figuring it out. Uh, the reality is, is this knife may be getting replaced soon which saddens the crap out of me. I have too many knives at this point in time, and this knife has become my absolute favorite. Now, the one coming in to replace it would be the Civivi Dogma. That is just a rumor. They haven't confirmed that they are replacing it with the Dogma, nor have they confirmed that they are not making them anymore. But everywhere you go right now, you can pick up this knife for about 40 bucks. This is with the Ebony Wood scales on it. And they're dirty, so let's take out my things. This has the ebony wood scales on it. This one you could probably pick up for about $45 right now. That's about 10% off. Well, more like 15% off. I mean, they were they were going for 48 bucks. The ebony wood scales it was about 55 or so. Now, uh, welcome to the channel if you're first here. And if you've seen my other episodes, which would be a total of four of you, you know you can check me out on the Twitter link that I do not have, nor do I have a Twitter. Same thing with every other social media. We are just doing this on YouTube, but you can keep searching. Maybe you'll find it. If you've noticed, I actually have a phone stand now so that you guys won't see me jostling around. And here's the janky thing because I paid $15 for this phone stand. That blue bucket underneath it is a uh, candle that's supposed to keep mosquitoes away and doesn't work. Not doing a review on that, though, so it uh, gets a free pass. So we'll get into this, the Civivi Backlash. The blade length on this thing is about 3.5 inches with a forward finger choil here, which is a very good size choil. Um, and so that, that brings your blade length down to about 3.2 inches. Um, it's got very good ergonomics. Well, hold on, I'm not even fucking going in line. Freaking, freaking going in line. The overall length is 8.1 inches. The thickness of the blade stock here is 0.12. This is a hollow grind, which has become my absolute favorite grind because it's the sliciest freaking thing you'll ever find. Oh. Sorry, sorry about that. This is the absolute sliciest thing you're going to find. The overall weight on this is 3.9 ounces. This has comes in carbon fiber, which is your typical $40, I think, right now. Comes in, I'm sorry, $44. The G10, which is coming in at right at 40 bucks, and then the Ebony Wood Scales, which I think is 45 to 46 dollars. As you can see on this, it has a nice deep carry clip. The same type of Civivi clip that they all come with. These are all T8 screws. I believe the clip itself is T6 screws. Um, not a big deal. The clip is ambidextrous for those of you who want to go halfway lefty because the pocket or the liner lock is only on one side and it is coming with the drop point blade with a satin finish. Typical Civivi style, we have our, it's a lighter blade so it's hard to do, but it's relatively drop shutty. The action on it's fantastic, and just that blade shape. So we got this swedge up here which is just, it just makes it look so nice. You got this finger jimping right here, or the choils rather. Jimping, I'm sorry, jimping which provide probably the best ergos of any knife that I own. A little bit of choil right here, jimping. My terminology sucks. But it, it, it's just, it feels great in your hand. It disappears in your pocket damn near. I mean, this thing, uh, it's just got such a soft spot in my heart. So what we will do is we will go with our standard comparisons. We'll start off with your typical... Rat 1 and Rat 2 models. Um, everybody knows these models. They are your best budget brand of the past, and it still holds relatively true. Rat 1 and Rat 2. In case you guys didn't see them, Rat 1 and Rat 2. All right, now we'll get into the real comparisons. Let me put these away so they don't run away on me. So that was your Rat 1 and Rat 2, actually. Their names are Al and Bear. My wife saved them uh, from a ball python, I'm assuming. Okay, so we'll do the comparisons, and then I will show you the knife that I am... This is my second favorite. It is also Civivi, very similar. So 
let's start out with your typical well since we did the rat one rat two we will start with that once again i don't have a rat two but the rat one is good enough for me try to get these lined up as you can see the rat one is slightly bigger but it doesn't like to sit that way so we'll just let it sit however the heck it wants and then just for this is size comparison only we got your protec newport obviously you can tell eh, if it'll stay up there it's a much smaller knife i think the blade uh, length on that protec is about three inches so you can see it's a medium sized knife what we are starting to call in the industry, I guess, and I act like I'm the industry, but I am not. I am nowhere near it. Uh, what we're starting to call in the industry is about a, 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 we'll call it an average size to full size knife. Next, we have your standard PM2. And because I'm too cheap, I have the Tenacious. Lightweight, I believe it is, with the FR on scales. As you can see... This is a little bit smaller than both of these. The Tenacious coming in. Eh, must have just been the camera angle. Tenacious is actually a little bit shorter than the Backlash. Let's see if you guys can actually see that here. I got these guys lined up. They're coming in at about one-tenth of an inch smaller. And our PM2, which is almost the exact same size, maybe slightly longer. So, last two comparisons. Because I'm on a Civivi roll, I intend to actually review all the Civivi knives that I can possibly get my hands on. Well, I will try to complete a set, and then at the end of me reviewing those, I will probably put the whole set up for sale where you can buy them all, I don't know, for 450 bucks or whatever. You'll save about 100 bucks on them if you buy the whole set depending on how it comes out and how many I have but this backlash is not going anywhere I apologize this is my favorite knife she will be with me forever she does not have a name maybe we'll call her Eleanor yeah you know what she is officially named in this episode forever and always Eleanor so we are comparing it against the shredder and the mini bull mastiff if you've seen any of my other videos you will know that I've already reviewed these um, I'm in love with the shredder Probably a top five knife for me right now. If you can't tell, just like all those hinderer, uh, all those guys that have that niche knife. Well, right now mine's the Civivi. Maybe it's just because it's the brand that I can afford and really get into. But um, you really can't go wrong. So as you can see, the shredder here is a little bit longer. The blade length, I believe, is 0.2 inches longer, maybe 0.25. And the overall handle... Might be about the same if I do it right. Yeah, the overall handle looks about the same. The Mini Bull Bastiff, as you can see here, is obviously a Mini. It is a, uh, the blade length actually is only with that forward point right here. Maybe about 0.2 inches shorter, um, but you get a little, a lot less blade length with this. So, put these away. Now let's put up my number two knife. This is the Civivi Statera. It's about the exact same size. Um, shoot, the weight, the weight, it's slightly lighter. I like the satin finish on the backlash a little bit more. I mean, the backlash to me just looks classier. Um, the ball detent is very strong on this. Um, makes it a little bit less uh, fidgety, but I mean, obviously, it's still a fidgety knife. You have to really kind of get into it. This one... Oh, that's stupid. I mean, I barely have to press this thing. And maybe actually the halfway action that I got there is because it doesn't have any spring when it stops. I have figured out with this Statera, maybe I maybe I, I just got one that was uh, slightly off quality spec. Because if I take it, and I probably can't demonstrate it here without dropping the phone. I can't. Anyways, if I do that, and I do it hard enough, the whole knife will pop out. Um, I do have a couple other knives that do that. I don't think it's a big deal because you'll never be subjected to a situation that that causes you to stab yourself. Um, it, it's, a very, it's a very violent action that you have to do to get it open without actually flipping it. But I wanted to put these two up as they are my two favorites. And as you can see, my style is very uh, apparent in that they do kind of mirror themselves a little bit in length, weight, uh, carry profile, all that. 
So I'll put this guy away because this is not what we're talking about today. And I apologize for the uh, sinuses situation going on here. And for all of you who want to criticize, I am drinking a Miller Lite. It is what's left over after my child's first birthday. So we have to get rid of it. I'm more of a line and Kugel, Blue Moon, Ho Garden type of guy. All right. Getting back to this blade. I mean, this is my absolute favorite blade that I have. Um, this is where, if you watch my Statera video, you will see that I, I very polarizing, uh, I very, in a polarizing way, said that this is the absolute perfect size knife that goes in your pocket and disappears. Now, for the average person, is that the perfect size knife? No, because I was flipping it at work and one of my guys looked at me like I was carrying a freaking M4. But um, those are just people who don't know knives. I took the time with them afterwards to kind of explain, you know, certain things. And I think he got it a little bit more, but for some reason he still considers it a weapon. That's on him, not us, right? Um, but like I said, they may be getting rid of this knife. So right now is the time to go out and get them, which is why this video is coming out. It's not that I am trying to give you guys a review to say, hey, this knife just came out. Because obviously this has been out since I think 2017. This is one of their original models along with the Praxis. And I don't remember the other original model. But if you guys want, if I want rather, not you guys, because I want to play with it. This thing, uh, and I think it's the ebony wood scales too. I mean, it just gives it this smooth, elegant profile. Um, extremely slicey. You know, I, I, I have a Manix 2 that I am customizing right now, so I haven't done a review on that, but I'm going to give you a before and after, and maybe I'll do a video of me doing the customization, adding on the parts and whatnot. And that one's going to be, I can already feel, that's my number, I'm not going to say number 2 because I already said number 2. It's my number 2.1. Um, I'm, I'm in love with that Manix. Uh, it's, it's a very large knife, though. But the Civivi Backlash, uh, I mean, what is there more to say about it, guys? I mean, this, this knife is just incredible. Um, pretty much did a circle. You guys heard me say that about 15 times, but I told you guys in the beginning, I do not plan these out. I actually was watching Metal Complex on TV and said, let's do one. So, the I have a couple more Civivis coming in, and obviously I have about three or four more in my arsenal that I want to review in short order, kind of get these out to you so you guys can make the right decision on your knives. Purchase, put it on your background, entertain yourselves, whatever the case is. Don't really care. This is more for me than for you right now. I love you guys to death. Thank you guys for viewing the videos. You know, please subscribe. But, you know, this I enjoy doing this probably uh, more than I really care about the viewers and the subscribers. So you're getting this organic feel, getting me to talk about knives, and making an excuse for me collecting these things. But like I said, I'm going to try to collect the whole Civivi family. I will sell them as a lot for those of you who want to buy the whole Civivi family. I'm sure there's somebody out there that wants to do the collector's thing. And then the next... After I complete the Civivis and I sell those, I will purchase a bunch of CRJBs and kind of go on down that line. I have a couple of those coming in as well. So, thank you guys for watching. If You know what? I didn't even talk about the freaking blade steel. All right. Good job, Tyler. Dumbass. All right. So, this blade steel right here, which I'm trying to find it because I don't even know what freaking side it's on. You, you won't be able to see it on the camera. It's right up in this edge. It might be on the other side. It's it, they do an awesome job of not billboarding anything on their on their blades. Gives it a very clean feel and a clean look. I think that's where the elegance kind of comes from in these knives, right? But what I'm getting at here is this blade steel is 19 or I'm sorry, 9CR18 MOV. It's not your D2. This is what they used to use in most of their knives. Um, and they are kind of getting away from that going to the D2. The Mini Bull Mastiff came in a 9CR MOV, 8, or 9CR 18 MOV. I believe the Bull Mastiff coming out, which I'm going to get my hands on as soon as it releases, I believe that's a D2 steel. It's a much larger blade, though. Um, I've sharpened this knife. Actually, I got it, and I think somebody had used it, which irritated the crap out of me from Blade HQ. I got it out of the box. It had a couple of little scratches on it. There was no plastic, and the edge was not what you would expect out of a you know, a knife out of the box. It wasn't dull, but we put some work into it. Uh, we got some new tools in and new sharpening tools and um, really went to town this thing. This thing's so fantastic now. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. This has run long enough. I've rambled long enough. Hope you were entertained. Um, yeah, I mean, 
thank you guys for watching sincerely uh you know i say i do this for me but if you guys do not watch these videos you do not like these videos you do not subscribe my life and longevity on youtube would be hard to justify after a little bit of time it's not that i'm doing this for money i'm doing this for a hobby i highly doubt i will ever make money on this nor do i really care to but if i'm not getting this out to people you know i guess that one person that's watching them i hope you get all the information you need out of these things this has been tyler with everyday edc enjoy the cut is healing up much better as we can see if it's not friggin fuzzy cheers have a good day